Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video, hopefully it'll help somebody out, that'll help you kind of determine with how, to, how to spot what uh, produce is uh, organic versus the ones that are inorganic. I know like if you can't go to a Whole Foods and you go to Walmart or whatever, you know, most of the times it's really, you know, you want to eat healthy, but a lot of times you, you're picking vegetables and fruits and whatnot, and you really don't know what you're getting. So uh, hopefully, like I said, I can give you a couple pointers, a couple tips that'll help you kind of distinguish what do you really want to look for. Um, the most important thing that I think you can do is uh, know that on organic foods, there's a five digit number that's uh, located on a SKU or located on a sticker. And that five digit number uh, always starts with a nine, okay? Um, for, your, for your organic foods, it starts with a nine. Um, if you have foods that are genetically modified in some way, shape, or form, that's going to be a five digit number also but um, that's gonna start with an eight. And then otherwise, for regular foods that might have been, uh, you know, just brought up with the other ways with pesticides and whatnot, those are normally four digit numbers. Now, I know you're probably wondering, five digit numbers, nine, eight, what the hell is he talking about? So I'm gonna try to uh, give you a better example. All right, so here we go. Um, you take a look at what we have. I just did some grocery shopping not too long ago. And this is what I brought back. Now, what I say, this is an apple, right? Apple from Whole Food. And as you can see, um, it starts with a nine. You know, we have a five digit number. And like I said, it has a nine at the beginning. Um, same for the banana that we have right here, right? It says that it's organic. And uh, if you look at the number that's on the sticker, once again, it starts with a nine. So that's the basic thing that you want to look for on all your produce. You want to make sure that you see that nine digit number. Um, I bought some grapes also. Now on the grapes, as you can see, um, it's a plu. I guess that's kind of similar to the SKU number or whatever method that they use to track it. But this doesn't have five digits. It's only four, one, two, three, four. And um, like I said, this is something that has been made. You know, they probably use pesticides or whatever else to you know grow these fruits. So it's not it's not organic, okay? Um, I don't have an example of um, a product that is probably genetically modified in front of me, but like I said, that is gonna start with, uh, it's gonna be a five digit number also, but it's not gonna start with, uh, um, it's not gonna start with the nine, it's gonna start with the eight, okay? Um, that's something major that you need to look for. Cause like I said, it makes a difference between whether or not the food that you got is organic or whether or not, whether or not you know, it's been made using God knows what kind of pesticides or chemicals. Um, another thing that you might want to look for is, like this one says, it's USDA organic. Um, I guess that's a pretty good indicator that you know it's supposed to be organic. Um, I know what I just told you that relates to produce. You know, I've been looking at different other foods like cereals and whatnot and, and pastas and whatnot. And it looks like that rule holds that, it, you know, it'll have a nine digit uh, number as a skew. But I've been seeing some that are have the USDA sticker on it saying that it's, you know, organic. But then the skew number will be more than, or it won't have, it won't start with a nine. So, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if, you know, they're trying to pass it off as being organic, but it's not 100% sure of what's going on with that. But, you know, that's something, like I said, that um, as a general rule, I would say, if you see the nine in the front, it's something that you could trust. And if you don't, well, you might want to stay away from it. You know, if that's important to you, you know, if you don't care, if you're cool with, you know, eating any other kind of pesticides and chemicals and putting that in your body, hey, you could do that too. Um, this video here, I definitely recommend. I don't know if you can see it, it's Food Inc. I think anybody and everybody that eats fast food and anything else between the chickens and turkeys and all of that type of stuff, man, you definitely need to see this video. It has some crucial information and it really shows you a lot about where your food is coming from and all of the stuff that they do to your food before you actually get it. I mean, there's some stuff in there, man. I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe what I heard. Um, it's a good documentary. It's entertaining. It's funny. And um, like I said, it's packed with information. So I definitely recommend it. And I think it's something that everybody needs to see. Um, one other thing that I wanted to mention was, uh, you know, in relation to this food ain't video and, and eating, even as far as eating organic is concerned. 
there's there's a war out there, man. These these big companies, or there are many big companies that are they're they're rushing to make fools, man, and they're trying to make profits, big profits and whatnot, and they're feeding us poisons. You know, I don't know if you have anybody that just died recently in your family, but it seems like the number one cause of death all of a sudden is cancer. Now I know that might not be a statistically accurate, you know, number or whatever, but I know a whole bunch of people that are, you know, not even 40, 50 years old, man, getting all kinds of strange cancers. Now, if anybody remembers back in the day when your grandparents were coming up, these cancers weren't that, that, that potent. They weren't that numerous in, you know, the consistency and, and the amount of people that were getting these things. It has to do with the, the, the poisons that are going into our foods and everything, man, and it really makes a difference. So, you know, if you care about your body, if you care about your loved ones, it's good to get educated on this stuff and just try to learn what the hell you're eating. You know, it really makes a difference, man. It really makes a difference. Um, I just wanted to kind of get that out there. I won't be long. Like I said, as always, if you have any questions, give me a holler. Um, I'll probably start trying to do a video or two on detoxing and, you know, fasting and, you know, the different ways why that helps your body and how that can, you know, be beneficial to you. Um, I'm still kind of staying away from taking my little P90 pictures or whatever, but I'll have some of that coming up too. And uh, like I said, man, just follow up on your food, man, and get educated. You know, the Bible says my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Well, you know, we got to get educated, man. This is the age of information with the Internet. We can look up anything with the other videos on YouTube and whatnot. I mean, information's out there, so we got to get it. All right, y'all be cool. As always, this is MTG.